Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our Let's Play on Rome Total War Remastered as Parthia. And you can see from where we started, these um, these three small provinces, it's only these three isn't it? We have spread like a plague nearly across the whole of Anatolia, we are sieging down Pergamum and nearly all the way to the Nile Delta, well all the way to the Nile Delta but nearly all the way inland as well um, nearly destroyed egypt and hopefully this episode we can destroy egypt if not the next one um, and then we'll look further afield to greece and the romans so let's see what we can do i think we've got one battle to do and it's up here let's try out these new persian cavalry now the one thing they they lack is ammunition they have about 500 less arrows than the uh, horse archers however I'd still say that with their morale buffs and their ability in melee um, they are good to get they're not quite as cost effective as the horse archers so if you're still looking for cost effectiveness get the horse archers um, especially when they've upgraded um, their experience however you know, going forward with elite armies, we probably want to do with these guys. Let's see. See, missile attack of 7, which is good, but 1620 ammo rather than 2100. But look at that morale. 8 compared to, I think the starting morale of the other guys is 4 or 3. Um, but yeah, look at this um, melee attack of 9, which is pretty good. You know, it's not, not bad. Mm, they're also... Long range missile, I believe. Yeah, long range missile. So, although they have less ammo, it's less likely for them to get killed when they're moving around. Peasants. Let's get you back here. There you are. Let's go, guys. Let's see, they can already start sort of fire. You don't need to get quite as close. But they do have a lot less ammunition, as we said. Um, I think it's 15, 15 volleys rather than 20, which is obviously quite a lot less. I could be wrong on that, but we need to get these guys to see. Look how fast it's going down, I'm ruining them. I hope they're all firing at different ones. I want to whittle them all down so that they start routing. So we're still, oh, they're going to withdraw. Right, you two. Hopefully, hopefully we break these guys. Yeah, hopefully with these charges they all break. Yep, there they are, brilliant. See, these guys are a lot better at charging as well. Oh. These generals, bodyguard guys, are sh just shaken. We might lose a few troops here, but we will get a lot of experience. All right, get you guys out. We're also going to... Ah, there they are. We're also going to turn off everyone's um, uh, fire at will, because they'll be firing into their own troops. Get in there, quick. All the rest of these guys dead. Let's get in there. I think that should be everyone now. Oh yeah, they have no one left. Poor guy, poor guy was lying on the floor, trying to escape our judgment, and he died. So we lost 20 men. That's fine. The other bad thing about these potentially is the fact that um, you can't retrain them just at basically any settlement. As long as somewhere's a town and has a stables, you can retrain the other guys. But we need it to be a large town with the upgraded stables. Um, which, honestly, going forward into the Italian and North African lands, most places will be cities. So, shouldn't be too much of a worry. I also don't like the fact that they've got they've got a uh, plague here, so we might just wait it out. No one got any experience there, which is disappointing, to say the least. I think that's everyone. So, I'm going to assemble an army up here in Antioch as well. Um, so we've got our first lot of elephants. Mm, 
I think we'll send all the elephants together just for safety. I don't want to get them taken out by a rogue, um, a rogue army. Right, Alexandria, uh, we exterminated it pretty heavily. Don't think they'll be too happy when we move out, but I guess we'll see. Ah, there you are. Let's go. Hopefully that would be Egypt dead. Ceasefire with Scythia. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We have no allies. We oh, they have, we have no allies. Their allies Dacia. Do you know what? It might be good, uh, but I I just feel like they'll give us four hundred. I mean, I, I'm guessing we will just destroy them straight away. Oh, Arsakis has died. That's sad. He was a Mazaka, right? Mazaka's still happy, though. Yeah, he's dead. Another candidate for adoption. Okay, we've got another one at Antioch. That's actually good. Where's our new faction leader, then, please? Arses. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, he is good. He's a bad farmer, though. He's got a lot of uh, negative negative traits for this. But he's a butcher. He massacres people. Oh, it's brave night fighter. He's actually he's pretty good at leading armies. He's terrible. He's terrible at uh, everything else. Do you want to retrain all these guys? Um, Shouldn't need to retrain. Is it just to get that? Can I? I can't see. I can't train these guys, so it's only just to get the the armor upgrade, armor, which we can come back for later. We do not need that right now. Let's see how they uh, feel about this. Not very happy, <laughs> but we'll put the uh, put the thing on low. Let's get uh, another siege tower then, maybe. Ooh, no, we want four siege towers actually, don't we? Uh, four siege towers and a ladder. Let's go. Thebes is is rebelling against their own their own government. They're so unhappy with the fact that they have been destroyed by us that they are rebelling themselves. Okay, we're the strongest faction eventually. We're eventually stronger than Gaul. I'm assuming they will have had a couple of armies destroyed. Oh, let's keep going with these armor upgrades. We want these elephants to have some lovely armor upgrades. Um, Artaxata. Let's go for the Spice Road. Reasonably happy. Tarsus. Seems like a million years ago that we took Artaxata. Uh, Cedon, let's go for the trade. Yeah, the trade Caradon. Car yeah, Caradon? Caravan. <laughs> um, Sardis is unhappy. Go for Zoroastra. That means we can train Persian cavalry here now, isn't it? Uh, right, Halicarnassus. Let's go for a port down here, I think. They're actually happy. Bostra. Bostra can have a port. Ah, here. I mean, it will generate a little bit of trade, so we'll go for it. I mean, we don't really need any of the other stuff. Petra. Farming, definitely. Alexandria. How... What do we want to go for here? I think we want to go for public order, so that's two turns and we'll give us ten. That's three turns and we'll give us ten. I think we'll go for that to start with. Um, but yeah, don't believe we want any more troops from there. Right, let's uh, so let's clean up this army if we can and try and get straight towards Thebes. Oh, we can't ah can't reach them. That's awful. That's really annoying. Can't reach there either. Right, let's have a look down here. What do we want to do? So I know we've got two armies. We've got this one. Okay, this one is obviously the better army. Um, this one is horse archers. So instead of getting Persian cavalry, I think we'll carry on just with horse archers to fill that army up. 
can we recruit them here to Halicarnassus as well? No. Uh, and Kira? No. Nicomedia. Right, let's keep on going. Um, how many do we need? So, I think we're going to have... We'll take four infantry in here. So, four. And we need one, three, four. So, we do actually just need four. So, two there. Two there. We also need infantry somewhere. Like, what type of infantry do we want? We want, ideally, archers, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get them anywhere around here. Uh, oh, well. Uh, now, how are we doing down here? Okay, you can retrain a few. Keep on going with the Persian cavalry. Then, we'll send the elephants from Susa to Antioch. Or is it Seleucia that we're recruiting the elephants? We should be able to recruit the elephants reasonably soon. Once we've got that... Yeah. Just need these to uh, go to huge city and then we'll get some uh, armored war elephants, which is brilliant. Don't think Egypt knows what he wants to do right now. Do we keep going with more boats? I think two more. Retrain these guys. Right. We can take Pergamum. I think we go for... You're going to retreat. Uh, if you retreat into that army, I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's go. We are going to fight these little battles just because I know if we press auto resolve it'll be like clear victory, but it might be. It'll either be zero losses or it'll be like 200. And uh, because they're phalanx units and we're cavalry, I know we're horse archers, but it, you know the AI might think that they will would kill our cavalry pretty quickly, but it's not the case. I'm honestly just going to use these guys. If we need to, we use these guys. But they're in reserve. The reason why I'm using these other guys is these guys. Because they're more experienced. So, do we want to spread the experience equally? Or just get more people more experience? I think just get more people more experience, to be honest. Will have a larger impact. I'll oh, screw it. It'll just make it slower if we don't use these guys, so let's, let's just do it. Should be relatively easy. Yeah, these armored hoplites getting shredded. Obviously, there's just one unit of them, but when you think about how many arrows are actually getting fired at them, it actually does take quite a while to take them down. That's just one unit, and look how much ammunition we've used. These guys can't retreat. Hopefully no friendly fire so far. Yet. No, none so far. These guys will get shredded. There we are. Perfect. Did anyone get any experience? Let's have a look. Okay. Yep, we got one experience gained, which is good. That is all that matters right now, honestly. Is getting as much experience as we can with these guys. Like, really, really important. Um... But I guess we'll move on to a bit of a harder battle. Uh, and then we'll take Pergamum. wonder how many settlements the Greeks have. I think this is just going to be a hoplite battle. Uh, we'll send the hoplites in against their general. And probably hoplites and generals. There's no point just messing around with horse archers in these settlements. It's just too frustrating and annoying. Unless, you know, we have to. Uh, missile units are effective from range, but vulnerable in close combat. Yep, we know. That is all we have currently. Literally, nearly all we have is just missile units. I'm not even really used to cataphracts. They're expensive, bit of a waste, but this moment in time, we just don't need to. Like, <laughs> there's not been many battles where we've it's been, you know, on the edge. I hope. The Romans haven't had Gaius Marius yet because we'll just shred them. Ooh, this is a quite a good city. Mm. Do you want hoplites on that? I guess we have to. It's a siege tower that fires though. That's good. 
I believe these Thracian guys are going to get absolutely slaughtered. Um, General here. Hoplites are terrible on walls. Yeah, look at that. I prefer you to fire at the Thracians, though. So, do what Thracians, I'm sorry, but... Yep. Yeah, they've shot a few hoplites, but it's not really an issue. Are they, uh... Just run across here. Get... Which way are we going to go? God, the, oh, we should have gone around the other side. Uh, right, we'll get these hoplites to run around this way. Then we'll get these ones to run around to this way. Um, should be across the wall, so we take all the gates and all that stuff. Uh, so this way, this doesn't even go in. That's so annoying. Wait, is there, oh, there is only one way in. That's terrible, right? You get around to here as well. All these towers are firing at them. What do we? So it's a general's bodyguard and a normal hoplite. So we have two units of normal hoplites. We have two general's bodyguards. So we just basically have double what they have. Run, please. I think our... Uh, it's quite a big general's bodyguard. I'm guessing that's the factionaire. 39. Come on, hoplites. You can go. You can do it. They'll be quite tired now. Yeah, they're very tired. Uh, we'll probably rest them once they're around here. I know it's... Uh, you know what? Nah, we're not going to do that. I don't want you guys to run, actually. You guys walk. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, could have sent him in as well, but... Not really needed. I'm guessing they're going to charge. Yeah, right. Once you're in position, get into your phalanx position, please. These guys are knackered. Hopefully they get here. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Deaded straight in the charge. Okay, they've fully broken our poor guys. Right, we ourselves will run through our pikes and then put the pikes down. Uh, if they'll chase, that would be awesome. Looks like they are walking forward. It's just the shadows anyway, isn't it? Okay. That phalanx is terrible because we ran through it. However, should hopefully kill some of these guys. Will you fire at them, please? And charge them. Okay, it's a lot of dead chaos right now. Let's charge them. We have killed their general, right? Get these guys out here. Yeah, nice one. Um, what are these guys doing? They're so tired. They're exhausted. They're going so slow. Kill that general bodyguard, please. Don't get caught on those pikes. That would be ideal. <laughs> right, speed up. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. good job we didn't lose many people there. God, sped it up too much. 
key. We're, they're broken, but I think they're just normal hoplites, right? Um, okay. Hopefully they come back. We'll rally. See if we rally these guys. No, they're still broken. We should be able to take them from both sides. You know, they're not going to decide which side to go for. Okay. Okay, I smashed quite a few of them. Now they're probably going to turn around. Most likely. Normally they would. Come on. Yeah, we're doing all, all right. I know this is, you know, tedious, but I, these phalanxes. I don't want to lose generals because I do. I have got into that bit recently of losing a lot of generals. Right, come on. Charging with the phalanxes as well. Right, let's just phalanx them to death. No need to worry about these guys too much. Oh! Yeah, that should have killed them all. That was a big charge. I like that. Nice one. He's killed 155. What? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, those hop both hoplites like basically died. But no other casualties for anyone else, apart from the Thracians, which don't matter either. Um, so yeah, fine. And I think that's a large city, Pergamum. So that's a great recruitment centre for our stage into Greece. Oh, look at that. 23,000. Well, I'm sorry, you're getting exterminated. We want that uh, lovely councillor's chambers in our own culture. They, they, they haven't really built anything apart from infantry barracks, which we don't want or need. Um, now, could go for the cavalry stables. Don't really need to. We do have a normal stable, so can we train these guys? Um, no blacksmith for anything. Sardis is actually better recruitment spot, which I guess makes sense, but fine. So... When we're doing with these armies, this army will send straight across, take on Larissa, uh, and then probably the the hmm, you know what we'll probably send the good army this way. The other army can sort of recover, recoup, recuperate, and wait for some reinforcements coming down from the old Egypt. Yeah, nice one. But we'll just check while we're here that we are building in every settlement that we can. Yeah, these guys are taking ages to get upgraded, but once they're upgraded, they'll start snowballing. You know, even these like minor city, large town. Like it's taking a while to upgrade a lot of these guys. These guys have actually upgraded pretty quickly, like Campus Sarkai. But uh, did it start as a minor city or large town? I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, we've got to move these guys as well. Let's go take this horrendous rebel settlement. And hopefully we never have an issue with it after we've taken that. <laughs> I do not want to have to go fight these rebels. Um, so here we are. Their capital. Looks like a city, yeah. Ooh. I don't like the look of that. I think we'll have enough. We'll take some. We'll take some um, mercenaries as well, especially if they are. Okay, we did. We basically have a full stack, but four of them are shocking. We'll take these guys as mercenaries as well, and we should be able to beat anything they throw at us. Yeah, I'm sorry, Scythia, but it had to be done. Looks like you've got two more settlements. I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Um, so let's find Scythia. Let's go for territorial. 
God, it still looks like they've got. A... Uh, it still looks like they've got a few. Five settlements. I mean, I hope that's not the case because that's really annoying. So, Brutai's got seven. How about the Greeks? How are they looking? Okay, looks like they've got three. So I'm guessing these two islands and then Larissa, and we'll have them done. Uh, Egypt as well. Um, obviously, we need to uh, destroy them. That should hopefully be done this episode. We don't know. All right, let's end the turn. See what happens. Yeah, we're going quite quick. I'm just a bit worried about the Romans because, as, as I said, we've gone so quickly and we dominated everyone so much that we have hardly any experience in these armies. Like, look at this. I think we would have had more experience if we'd auto-resolved all our battles, <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah, we do not have great um, experience in any of their armies. Even these ones that have basically conquered the whole of Egypt. <laughs> like, look at the experience. Like, it's it's trash. Trash amount of experience. Um, but, hopefully... We'll get there. Ah, should have attacked. No. Ah, I was hoping they would stand and fight. If they stand and fight, we could have drawn them out and won. But it doesn't look like they think they're strong enough, which makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, you built a lovely armor for us. Um, I just think, does the Zoroastra temple... And when we get to here, no, it's just the law. It doesn't give you any armor or upgrades or anything like that. thought it might, but no. Um, so what do we want to do here? We want to be able to get elephants here as well, don't we? So let's do that. And we'll start spamming them out. We've got lots of money now, so that is not an issue. Right, Arsakia, go for that. Saluki, you've got your armor. Good. Hatra. Let's uh, go Bazaar, Sinope. Let's go for the. Oh, no. Sinope's already building, sorry. Tanias. Hmm. These places just need population growth, really, and happiness. Sardis, Skets. This is our main recruitment center over here. So. Let's go for. Uh, do you know what? There's not really much here that's that helpful. If we can get uh, practice range and then the archery range after that, that be good. Chersiones is full. Uh, right, Pergamum. We did the shrine to Zarastra. I think that's what we want to do again. Do you want this cavalry stables? Uh, or do we want to start building this up? Let's build this up to be a recruitment hub. It's not decided whether it will become one yet. And let's do our battles over this side. Um, take these guys. They are fully, just a fully full stack. Like, not even need re retraining. Um, this is probably the best army we have. When I say probably, it definitely is the best army we have. Um, but... It's not that good because of the zero experience. So hopefully with killing some of these guys, we'll get a bit of experience. I didn't even look at what they had. They had some armored hoplites, didn't they? Um, these guys back here, you can go with these guys. Shouldn't really need any melee cavalry. And we'll do it in two groups. Oh. Yeah, they, they have nothing. The only thing they do have that's slightly scary is their general, but obviously we'll shoot them down. See, you can kind of tell that these... They don't have long-range missiles, do they? No, they don't. They are fast-moving, though. I'm pretty sure the Persian cavalry are fast-moving as well. Unlike cataphracts, who are extremely slow, or camels. We're just going to fire on their defensive position. Doesn't matter. Might get us more experience actually taking longer to kill these guys. Um, but yeah. Let's see. We're going to run forward. Look at that. See, see with... 
the lack of uh, experience. It's taking ages. It's taking loads of ammo to kill these guys. I want you to start shooting the general, really. These armored hoplites are taking ages to kill. Let's keep going. Shoot the general if you can, please. It's taking quicker to kill the general than it is the armored hoplites. <laughs> Which is pretty surprising. These guys, they're shaking. They do have good morale, though. Uh, how are we looking there? Yeah. Let's continue. Just to hopefully maybe get some more experience. There we are. Doesn't look like we did get any experience. Let's have a look. Oh, no, we did get a couple. Good, good, good. Did we lose any men? That's what I want to know. Don't think so. Alright, we'll send these guys. Now they've mopped up that army, we'll send them to Rhodes. Um, to come down this way. Who are you? Are you Egyptian? Rebel rebel ships are mega strong most of the time. Right, Salamis, not Carolus. Okay. Okay, looks like we'll be able to beat those those ships. Which will be good. Now we need you to get to full strength. We'll also send all of these guys, all of these guys to Sardis to get their, their weapon upgrades. Um and we are still recruiting there, aren't we? Yep, good. Once these two have been uh, recruited, we'll send them to Sardis as well. And then we'll send these guys across. Now, I think we'll go for that Greek town. But if not, we'll go, obviously, these two islands, then Sparta. Uh, if not, we'll go for Thessalonica. Right. Let's see what we want to do in Egypt. Memphis? Uh, how is that balance of power like that? That's what I want to know. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Elephants may seem unstoppable, but they are easily spooked by flaming missiles and spear-wielding units. Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, if you put them through a spear unit, they will just destroy it. I guess like a phalanx unit uh, or a strong spear unit, like... Um, you know, like the Sacred Band. Are they, are they Sacred Band? Sacred Band are Phalanx units, so aren't they? So, uh, Triarii, maybe? Like a fully upgraded Triarii? Like, I can't see them not getting curb stomped by the <laughs> by the elephants, to be honest. Hey, we're Night Battle. The sun sinks in the west. This battle will be I don't remember doing that. Pressing that option, but it doesn't hugely matter. Send all of these guys. So where are we getting to uh, the main square? It's around there, all right? So screw this off. Um, and we'll come around all this way. Okay, small unit. You can go there. Big unit here. Big unit here. Big unit here. Then all you guys. I mean, we'll hopefully be able to do most of this just with our general. Let's get these guys. Let's hope none of these guys stop. Nope, that's good. Should be able to shoot most of these guys from up on the walls. No one getting shot yet. That's good. Should hopefully no one should get shot. Unless we get... Oh, I think we'll get shot here. Yeah, yeah, they are getting shot. Right, 77. These guys are getting shot by that one. That's actually fine. Um, yeah, we should be able to shoot most of these guys from up here. Uh, hopefully even the Chariot General. Let's go. See, like, this is a good tactic to use if you are using... Um, you know, horse archer armies is get your archers onto the walls and shoot down at the enemy. Yeah, 
you get through that way. You can, and so what will happen now, now that we've done this, is these uh, these towers, you can see, are now ours. So they should be shooting upon these guys, should they? Don't know, like, who are they shooting at? I don't know whether they're shooting at anyone, to be fair. Um, oh yeah. You guys go here. You guys go here if you. I mean, honestly, go there if you can. The one annoying thing, though, is that the scripting, like how they move, is is absolutely dreadful. I think we just halt you guys. Start firing. Uh, you and you can come back around see now we have the gates as well so we can just go through the gates but oh why are we on fire I don't want fire can those um you are you you're still moving apparently shoot shoot one problem is when them when those chariots stop running away. Really want to know where you're shooting. These poor guys getting absolutely ruined. We should be able to do, see. We'll do most of this, and then we might be able to just send in the general just to kill those guys. Who is this, by the way? Forgotten asses. Right, so he's the. Top general. There we are. Brilliant. Bring our general in. Shouldn't get shot by any of these because we've captured them all. So that's another good thing. Who are you? Are oh, you a desert axeman? I really don't care. Like, you'll just die. Yeah. Absolutely smash to pieces. Let's go. Kill all these guys really quickly. Who are you? What are you? Fair as Bowman, actually. Good. No! Alright, it doesn't matter to use you again. We'll have to get another general up this way. It's our king as well. Unfortunate, but do you know what? It doesn't really matter. Yep. There we are. I mean, we lost 34 men. But one of those was quite important. Why is it always when it's a tiny battle that doesn't matter that the king just dies against someone terrible as well, like the... Okay. Great Pyramid nullifies the cultural penalty effects of Egyptian buildings for non-Egyptian factions, which is us, which is actually good. That means, oh yeah, that means this won't ever have a cultural penalty either. Should mean Alexandria is pretty happy as well. Back up to medium. Okay, they don't have a stables. They literally don't have a stables in this huge city. What idiots. Um, oh well, doesn't really matter though. Um, right, I'm just going to... With arse is gone, we do need another couple of generals across here. Like we only have one general in each army, which generally I normally go for two. Generally, <laughs> um, but we could bring a couple across from over here. Um, and we also need another fleet. So let's get going with some ships. Trireme, yeah, yes, please. That's better. Um, let's keep going with these guys. We've got enough money for it. So, let's find a good general out of these guys who are governing. He's 28, so he's a bit old. He's rubbish at management. Sounds good. And the guy in Jerusalem. Yeah, he's also rubbish at management. So, send these two across. Send you with two of these. Also send you, if you 
can go join those guys, please. So we don't really need those Eastern mercenaries anymore. Uh, so disband them. Disband them. Doesn't you know? We could go around, you know, making all our settlements a bit more efficient, just having one lot of peasants in them. But honestly, I'm not that bothered. Like we're we're making plenty of money. Right. Nope, we can't. Ah, yes, we have this army to kill this one. Then, oh, we can't even reach Thebes at this. That's terrible. See, it says, this is an actual okay army. Look, look at these Pharaoh's guards. Uh, we'll have a look at their stats when we get on the battlefield, but I don't think any of these units has any armor. We do have Egyptian chariots. That's the one thing we need to be wary of. <coughs> but we'll just use our, our archers in two groups. Hopefully, this is a bigger battle. We should get a bit more experience from this battle. But I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, chariots are the only thing that's a bit scary here. Everyone else is fine. Hillmen can come back here with the old general. Don't know where the middle of these guys is. Probably like around here. We'll keep them separate. Uwe, there you are. We'll group you guys, and we'll group you guys. So, one. Let's go here. Group two. Let's go kill these chariots if we can. Should be. See, these guys have no experience. There's a few of these guys that have experience. A bit deaded, so they'll be. They might be just as effective, but you know they still have the same amount of ammo, so that's the main thing. Start firing on these Egyptian chariot archers, please. There we are. Not sh killed anyone yet. You guys get up here. Yeah, they're going to be very confused. They're not going to know how to combat this, but... Oh, well. Good for us, I guess. Um... Let's get back. <laughs> um... Right, get rid of that. We got some experience for one of these guys. That's good. Okay... Uh take you off that because it's obviously not working great uh, great do you know what let's get this high ground that'd be good sounds like that's arrows hitting armor I wonder whose armor it is is there anyone here that's armored okay that's a Pharaoh's guard right um, let's just pause for a sec these Pharaoh's guard desert axeman three armor rubbish where's these Pharaoh's guard in here somewhere Oh, these guys. Yeah, they have nine armor. So they are actually pretty well armored. But everyone else is no armor, so it should be pretty easy to bring them down. But just the Pharaoh's guard, that's the one person. Uh, try and stay away from those Egyptian, cavalry, uh, Egyptian chariots. Yeah, I don't want them to charge us, please. Okay, we're running away again. That's fine. Up on the hill, we're doing good. How many units is that? Just 11. That's fine. Are you going to withdraw? Are you withdrawing? No, 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 no. They're not withdrawing. Um, let's just run through these guys. I'm not all bothered about these skirmishes. You might even... Uh, did we take them all off skirmish mode? Right. Yep. Fire at these Egyptian chariots, please. And then we only have chariot general to worry about. Should be dying a bit more.
Uh, come here if we can. Yep, let's get there. We're a bit spread thin now. Uh, let's get that way. Want to run away from these desert cavalry, please? Okay, yep, that's good. They've started breaking. How many men have we got left? 35. We need to get that down to 15. If we can. Let's go there. We should hopefully still be able to reach those Pharaoh's guards. Are they withdrawing now? Yeah, they are. That's terrible for us. Don't want to go into melee, even if it is with trash units. Okay. Who are you? Niall Spearman, right. Let's get right up behind them, it might break them. They are. This is where they're retreating, so let's just get up there. They're pharaohs. Yep, because you can hear the arrows. Let's just get there. Let's just get there. Shoot, soon be firing on the pharaoh's guards. Yeah, we've got 15. Ah, oh, we didn't kill the general though. So they will still survive. But I'm guessing just retreat. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they've broken. That's fine. Right, there we are. It would be destroyed if it wasn't for the general. Right, let's have a look and see whether we got experience. Okay, about five of them got experience. It's actually quite good. Nice one. Thuxtra the lewd. What has Thuxtra been doing? Let's have a look at his, his, uh, his, his stats. Not even noticed that so far. Um, th oh, it did destroy them. Yes can get to Thebes in one turn and the only other place we've got to go is there uh, but we're sending these ships down here do we want to actually not worry about that now Demata yeah we've just got there that's fine and Memphis of course we're we'll training yep Faction leader killed asses, yep. New faction leader, Dariyavahu. Dariyavahu, cool. Now we have a load of generals down here, don't we? Two there, two there, which they're part of that one. We do have two Insardis ready to go, though. I think once this army's done. Well, we're going to get these to join up with these guys in Antioch. Probably just go straight to Jerusalem, ships to Antioch. Uh, and we're going to cart down as many as we can, and including them elephants if we can. Um, yeah, we kind of actually run up to a bit of a crux point in recruitment, because our recruitment centres are so far away now from the front line that we need to start building up these places as recruitment centres, um, which is actually good. Let's keep on going then with more horse archers if we can, uh, and we'll see whether we can. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, we'll go one more of them, and then we'll go Persians after that. Yeah, I think we should take some armies just just to get rid of all these little armies. I don't want to have to go around mopping all those up, so let's not worry about it too much. Um, now down here. They've moved away with their general, which... <laughs> dumb. <laughs> dumb as hell. Ah, there we are. Themyscira. Worst settlement on the whole map. Right. Let's go. War dogs, that's annoying, but I guess we can shoot them all. So we'll do this one, and then we'll probably end the episode there, guys. Charging uphill takes considerable effort, but charging downhill builds momentum. Yep. Very good. This guy, these, this Egyptian guy is going to 
Well, the Egyptians will be swallowed up by the Parthian Empire. They'll be taught some lovely new stuff about elephants. Um, and a horse archery. We are lovers of peace and prosperity. But now we are facing a battle. We will not stop until our foes lie dead on the field. We. Ah, for some reason, I thought we were at Memphis, and I was very confused for a second there. <laughs> but alas, we are not quite at Memphis just yet. Come on there. Come on there. The one the good thing about these settlements... Uh, actually, no. This one, the Minor City, so it's actually not great. But, like, the, the lower-tier barbarian settlements just open, so you can actually manoeuvre your people about think we'll use generals I mean I've said that plenty of times so far in this campaign and it's not worked out great but <laughs> not too much else we can do let's get all these guys we'll group them up as well yeah they'll start firing now Probably going to get shot at a bit. Come on. Should be a big volley. Not killed anyone. One. Right. Great. <laughs> I prefer to kill that barbar barbarian warlord though. Yeah. Killed quite a few. To, to be fair. These archer war bands. Yeah. Axemen, they're, they're angry axemen. I mean, if we do enough damage with the horse archers, we should be able to mop them up with these guys. I don't really want to have to use the eastern mercenaries because <gasps> me, they're trash. If we find a place with archers, we'll replace the eastern mercenaries with archers and use the eastern mercenaries as garrison. But. Alright, keep shooting these guys, please. The cowardly enemy cannot hide. You have breached the walls. Breach them everywhere. The Look at that. Begin the slaughter, don't you worry. That will happen relatively soon. <laughs> you know what, we'll kill that general. I don't care about them. Sandwich these guys. Come here. We'll shoot those axemen while they're fighting our eastern mercenaries because our eastern mercenaries are, are trash. Let's go charge them in, in the back if we can. Watch us lose another general here. <laughs> well, rally him so that he stands back. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the uh, that's the axeman. Nice one. Are you unhappy now? Wavering yet? Nice. Now who is up here? Our warhounds. Uh, <laughs> we'll send the Sarmatians in, and then we'll send our general to just stand here if we can. Can we charge them Warhounds, please? What, are you okay, Salvations? Do they have, like, will charge without orders? Mm, yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing that was that then, bugging out, rather than them... Uh... The best thing we want to do is get these guys to rout, but they're on the square, so they won't. The dogs are really annoying. It's not like that's killing it. They're actually even fighting the dogs. Can, can horses not fight the dogs, or what's the deal with that? Yeah, we will lose these Sarmatians, but I'm actually not bothered. 
There we are. Perfect. And we didn't lose in general, guys. Amazing. We lost about the same amount of troops as them, though. Oh, a lot of that bleed east and infantry and then that whole unit of Sarmatians. So, hmm. Not brilliant, but it's fine. Uh, right, exterminate. Yep. The slaughter has started. What's this then? Experience bonus to troops. It's pretty good, but obviously we need our own, our own, uh, our own thing there. Okay, we've got the stables here, so that's good. Oh, we also have archers. Right, let's start replacing these, these four guys with archers. Right, that looks like everything. Oh, new merchant. Cool. Where are you? Uh, right, what should we trade? Let's go gold. Yep. Barbarian turncoat, that's pretty... Ah, so that's one of their other cities. We've got an actual Thracian city. We've got a couple of things out here which we should be able to take with these guys. Um, but... Really, yeah, it's so far to deal with them. So annoying. But looks like that's everything, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you again on the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you again soon.